Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x in this nice math problem? Here, let's represent cube root of 4x plus 49 with a letter. So let a be equal to cube root of 4x plus 49. And also, let a letter represent cube root of 4x minus 49. So we have b equals to cube root of 4x minus 49. Then from what we have here, this implies that we have a cube now equals to taking the cube root on this side, cube cancel cube root, and we have 4x plus 49 then also b raised to power 3 now also will become 4x minus 49 that is here we can write the equation given and that will become a minus b equals to 2 so we can label this as equation 1 then once we can get a plus b, we'll be able to solve together with this. Now from what we have here, a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, this will become, on the right hand side we have 4x plus 49 minus, into bracket, 4x minus 49. And when we solve here, minus open bracket here, so this gives us a cube minus b cube now equals to here yeah, 4x minus 4x cancel out then we have minus times minus as plus plus 49 plus 49 which give us 98 from there and uh, from the identity of difference of two cube here we have a minus b then into bracket a square plus 2ab plus sorry plus ab rather then plus b square which is equal to 98 from here and uh, from what we have here we can write it as a minus b then into bracket a square plus b square plus AB equals to 98 and from this identity A minus B all square the expansion here becomes A square plus B square minus 2AB which implies that here we can find A square plus B square by taking minus 2ab here become plus such that a square plus b square can now be written as a minus b all square then plus 2ab so that what we have here now we can rewrite it as a minus b all square plus 2ab then here we have a minus b into bracket a minus b all square then plus 2ab now, then plus ab, close bracket, now equals to 98. That is from here, we can write this as a minus b, then into bracket a minus b, all square, then plus 3ab, close bracket, now equals to 98 from here. And we should recall from equation 1 that a minus b equals to 2. Then when we substitute that here, we have 2 now as a minus b, then into bracket 2 square, that's 4, then plus 3ab, close bracket, equals to 98. Then when we divide through by 2 from here, Divide here by 2, divide here by 2, here 2 cancel each other, we have 4 plus 3ab equals to 49.
main on this side. Then taking 4 to this side, we have 3 AB equals to 49 minus 4, that is 45. Then also divide both sides by 3. Here 3 cancel each other and we have AB equals to 15. Then from here, Solve this with equation 1 to get a plus b. From equation 1, we have a minus b equals to 2. Now, the square on this side, square both sides of it, and this side will give us a square plus b square plus 2 minus 2ab, rather, 2 minus 2ab equals to 4. Then, when we substitute the value of AB, so here we have A square plus B square, then minus 2 times 15 equals to 4. That is, here we have A square plus B square minus 30 equals to 4. Taking minus 30 here, we come plus. That means we have A square plus B square equals to 34. And also from a plus b all square here the expansion here is same thing now a square plus b square plus 2ab and from here when we substitute the value of a square plus b square and the value of ab here this becomes a plus b all square now equals to here we have 34 plus 2 times 15 and from here we have a plus b all square now equals to 64 then we can take the square root on both sides so that square we cancel square root here then here we have a plus b equals to plus or minus 8 then from here we have two values for a plus b. The first we have a plus b equals to a, and also we have a plus b equals to minus a. Now we solve this with equation one, which is a minus b equals to two. We have a minus b equals to two as well. So here we can solve this by eliminating b. Let's add. Here we have a plus a, 2a, now equals to 10 here. Then divide both sides by 2, we have a here, now equals to 5. And also from here, we can get b from equation 1. That means we have a which is 5 plus b equals to 8. And from here, b equals to 8 minus 5. That is b equals to 3. Then, also from here, when we had here, we have 2a equals to minus 6. Then divide by 2 here as well. Here, this cancel out and we have a equals to minus 3. Then also, from the first equation here, minus 3 plus b equals to minus 8. And taking minus 3 here become plus, so we have b equals to minus 8 plus 3, that is b equals to minus 5. Now, we should recall that we have a e to be equals to 4x plus 49 from the beginning here, which we represented a as a root of this. Then, it implies for the value of a here, which is 5, we have 5 cube, will now be equals to 4x plus 49. Then 5 cube means 5 multiplied itself 3 times, which implies we have 125 here equals to 4x plus 49. Then taking 49 here, then we have 4x equals to 125 minus 49, which gives us 76. 
and dividing both sides by 4, we have x equals to 19. That's when a is equals to 5. Then also for a equals to minus 3 here, so we have minus 3 cube equals to 4x plus 49. Then here it is minus 27 equals to 4x plus 49. And taking 49 here become minus. So minus 27 minus 49 give us minus 76. So we have 4x equals to minus 76. Dividing both sides by 4, we have x equals to minus 19. And also in the same way, when we solve using the second term for b here, which is 3 raised to the power 3, equals to 4x minus 19. Using the two values of b here, which is 3 and minus 5, we are going to have the same result as x equals to 19 and x equals to minus 19. Therefore, from here, the value of x we have equals to plus or minus 19. And we have come to the end of this class. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on. Also, share this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have a comment, put it in the comment section. Thank you. See you next time. Bye. For now.